Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I cannot tell you how excited I am to bring you to this footage. 25-06 verse antelope. I'm in Colorado hunting with some of my buddies. My goal of this video is to bring you along and edit the footage to make you feel like you're just out there in the field hanging out with me and some of my buddies chasing pronghorn out there in Colorado. Before we get to this footage, quick gear check. 25-06, hey, the stuff we're flinging in this video, Remington Core Locked, 120 grain, the Core Locked PSP, pointed soft points. Flinging those out of my Ruger Hawkeye M77. We got a ride on X1 Conquer on there. Let me roll in the footage real quick, two days before this trip, getting this baby sighted in. So, getting good groups out of that combo. Also, before I went out to Colorado, about two weeks before, I was looking for some new hunting britches and I found some that actually fit me. You guys that know me or met me in person, I'm a big dude. I got a 40 inch waist, 36 inch inseam mom britches. You can't find that stuff in a store and literally almost nobody makes hunting britches that size. Well, guess what? I found some. These are Numa's, P-N-U-M-A, Numa's Pursuit Britches, and they make them for big dudes like me. So, hey, if you're a big dude or even a normal size dude or a small dude, check out those Numa Pursuit Britches. Pretty sweet. I actually wore those all week out there, like four days in a row, didn't wash them or nothing. And, hey, y'all know I'm a big, big fan of the axle hearing equipment. All this week, honey, in Colorado, I wore these Axel GS Extreme 2.0s. Not only do they do a good job protecting your ears, they also have sound enhancement. The first time I put these on, I literally almost cried because I had not heard sounds that well in such a long time. But Axels, definitely check them out. Let's roll in that footage. Like I said, my goal for this video, 25 out 6 versus antelope, is to make us feel like we're just out there hanging out with us. I'll jump in where I need to fill in parts of the stories and do some narration, but let's get right to that footage. In the truck this morning, glassing for some antelopes. We got Big Kid <laughs> and Colin and my new best pal, Danny, expert guide. <laughs> And we're fixing to find a big one out here. Stay tuned. All right, so we spotted a smaller bucket. Looking right here to the right. Oh, that's just a bush. Never mind. Just kidding. We spotted spotted a smaller buck up at the front of the property, and we're running to check a spot where we saw a little little bit bigger one yesterday. And if we don't see him, we're gonna smoke this other guy. It's the last day. We got to get an antelope on the ground. We just spotted the buck back in here, and we're gonna try to smoke him. What'd you say, he's at 400 yards right now? See him, they might have gone on the road. I see him either. I said we just ease up here and they're looking back at the truck. That's what we want. I think if we go to the right a little bit here. The does are to the buck is to the left. Yeah, he's walking left. got on that buck got to like what was it 300 350 350 yeah but then we spooked them and then they took off running a hundred miles <laughs> a 
but now we're making a circle see if we can get on them or go back to the butt we saw uh, just a little bit ago but we're gonna find one all right so i told you i was gonna pop in and do some narration if there was any gaps in the footage so we saw a, a tiny buck up front of the property i put in a picture of that you guys saw him his horns were barely bigger than his ears then we got on a second buck that was in the middle of the property that was you guys just saw us doing the stock of that footage and now after that one we spooked him off to the next county now we're driving back to the front of the property to try to get back on that small one when all of a sudden the four of us are riding in the pickup Colin behind me is looking out to the right and says whoa look there was a really nice buck out in the field to our right with about 15 does and that is where we're going to start with the next bit of footage and we end up getting on this dude and dropping the hammer on him Woo! I'm so excited. I had an absolute blast. But let's start up that footage again. My buddy Colin, he's going to get down in a little culvert, and then we're going to put the sneak up on these antelope. There's a nice buck with about 15 does. He's not with him. No, he's not. Wait, hold up. I got him. I got him. Oh, I think I see him. I got him. Oh, he's hit. Yeah. He's hit. He's in the middle of the green, somewhere there, I saw him. Sorry I didn't shoot him by the road. We're just going to have to drag him back there. Thanks, brother. Heck yeah, dude, that's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> And these weren't here. No. 
No, this all this stuff must have moved in overnight. Get, get your hands on him, man. <laughs> Is he done? Yeah, he's out. Oh yeah. That, he's got a little bit of junk on the back of this one, see that? Let's do uh let's do like an outro scene and we'll do what we gotta do. You wanna gut them here or by the road? So hootie hoo, how you feeling man? Man, I am so happy. So so happy. Oh we got on a good one too. Hootie hoo! He's a he's a good looking buck. All right, get up behind him. Let's get you some, some beauty shots. With I didn't see him when we were on the road, too. No, I just... All right, let Steve get some pics with you, and then... Uh... Man. Then we'll I'm not some... built for spreading across fields. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want me? Just right in front of him, oh, okay. and I'm just going to do like this. <laughs> A big thanks to my new buddy, Danny. He ran us all over. Found us all some big bucks. Appreciate you big time. Had a blast out here. Dude, I'm so happy. Oh, let's get that back in there, buddy. You guys get that. <laughs> Swig with it. Yeah. yeah, let's just hit it. Okay, you ready? Come on, get in the video, right. man. With cameras, they're so much more difficult. You don't feel to see me though. I'm wearing camouflage, and you guys are wearing orange. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but let me give you a quick recap. So, I've been hunting with my buddies out here in Colorado. These guys already got their antelopes. I've been hunting the past two days, didn't get one. Saw a bunch of animals out here, and then we got on two early this morning. Passed one, spooked another, and then. You spotted these guys, didn't you? Yep. Colin spotted them, 250 from the road or so, and these guys were not on this ranch the past two days. We've been hunting this ranch hard. These guys moved in last night. He was with what, 10, 15 does? Yeah, probably about 15 or so total. There's one buck in there, and just perfect. There happened to be a, a water ditch. We jumped down in that, popped up on the fence, Colin ranged them at 250. I dialed that baby and let that Remington Corlock sing. <laughs> and uh, I wouldn't have had it any, any other way out here in Colorado, hunting with my homies, having an absolute blast. Whole setup worked good. 25 up six is a good caliber for these antelopes. And man, I'm happy with this stud, but. Appreciate my buddies out here, Take Colin, up, man. Steve out Absolutely, here, man. Mr. Big Kid, having a blast out here. We got to take care of this guy, but big shout out to Hurtai's Ranch. They got a whole lot of cool stuff going on. Y'all check them out. And a big shout out to Axel. You guys know that I'm a huge proponent of hearing protection. I've been wearing the GS Extreme 2.0s all week. Got to protect your ears. Y'all go check out Go Axel. But man, oh man, am I happy. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out down below uh, for all the links that you need to know about. But man, having a blast. If you haven't taken the, the antelope in Colorado, you ought to try it. Uh, appreciate y'all. Appreciate my buddies. We'll see y'all in the next one. Doo -doo. He's a, he's a but there you have it guys 25 out 6 versus antelope out there in colorado truly truly appreciate you tuning in and watching this episode let me know what you think about that style of editing i edit all my own videos and i really tried to 
keep it raw and in the moment. Not only so I could relive what actually happened on that day, uh, but so you could relive it with us as we went through that hunt. A lot of times what you see on TV and wherever you watch your videos, they they do a lot of work and awesome work to make it more cinematic and refilm different parts of it. Uh, but I tried to edit it in a way, in a video that I would enjoy watching. And also, like I said, so I could relive literally what happened. Uh, but let me know what you think about that style of editing. I really enjoy doing it that way and just bringing you guys along with us. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. We got a lot more footage coming. Truly, truly appreciate you guys tuning in to all the videos, making sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for a whole lot more coming real, real soon. I'm super, super excited about all the stuff we got coming out soon. Stay tuned. My website's coming out, hootiehoo.com, just how you think you'd spell it. Stay tuned for that. But made a bunch of new friends on this trip. Appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate my old friends. Appreciate my new friends. Appreciate all the folks over at Axel. Like I said, check out all the links down below, stuff you need to know about. Stay tuned for my new website coming. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.